were not interested in making alliances with them. Count Beringer would remain the Seed's enemy for many years. King Alfonso watched with alarm as the combined Christian Moorish forces of the Seed gained power and prestige. Finally, he could stand it no longer and sent his own army against Motamed's Moors at Zaragoza. As much as he would like to come to the assistance of his friend Motani, exactly. like, the Cid could not like draw steel that. against King Alfonso, as he was still the Cid's rightful yeah. lord. Oh. Since the Cid could not assist him, Motamed was forced to seek help elsewhere. When he contacted the Berbers who lived beyond the sea in Gibraltar, however, he received more than he bargained for. These veiled religious zealots waged a continuous jihad across the barren dunes of the Sahara. Their leader, the fanatical Yusuf, who never showed his face, immediately prepared to cross the ocean into Spain with thousands of men and camels. King Alfonso's army was certain to crumble beneath this new wave of invaders. Yeah, I pretty much just hit my cue and forget about it. Well, problem is when you die, you gotta remember to turn it back on. Hurry, my steed. King Alfonso's forces are deep in Moorish territory and are horribly outnumbered. This way! Hurry! So, me and Gamma will get our can we nab some pizza? Awesome. You guys awesome. might, I don't know, there's a, bunch of, there's a bunch of pizzas out there. I don't know what's the rules for that. Um, those are all paid for, I don't know. You'd have to ask. Rodriguez, if you have any loyalty left, you will save me from the Moors. Please, cover my retreat to my capital the next one. Oh, this is the one where you have... No. Nope. Second wave of marauders. Four. Yeah, we must flee. Oh yeah, that's good. Yup. Yeah, yeah. Two. <laughs> Dead pikeman though. Saving, saving the monk. Was this victory flash here? Wasn't this Nixon last year? Third floor? He is on here. Thank you, Rodrigo. Now you must lead my army against Yusuf and his black guards. If you can destroy all of their docks, they will be unable to transport soldiers across the Strait of Gibraltar. They must postpone their invasion of Spain. The dresser is there. No, well, I mean, that's that way. I'm on. I'm on. Set up should be somewhere. Well, I don't know if it's a view, but it's a storm. Their living room window looks straight out into the main path, which I remember from the first. Banana, banana. Destroying docks, eh, mate? Sounds good. I think the easiest way to do this one is to just get a ship on here and just blow them up but we'll see yup that is very mean Alright, so, like I said, I think we're just gonna try to focus on maybe water economy then. Get up to the Imperial Age. Go from there. I 
Again, we are the citizens, so Memluks are going to help us bake that bush, perhaps? But, uh, maybe not. I don't remember there being a hole there before. In fact, I'm pretty sure. Huh. Well, either way. I think I do need one right there. So get some get some of the static resources first, and then we can uh, worry about fixed resources. Oh, excuse me. That's probably all the uh, fishers we're gonna do. <clears throat> but we will take this, some of the stone. Take this gold. Then we're gonna have to explore and get some more. Hey, that rhymes. That rhymes. Uh, we do need some buildings from this era, though. University wouldn't hurt. I was putting these guys in defensive wouldn't hurt. Um. We need more guys in the wood, actually. Because we're going to be building lots of farms pretty soon, so. And a good wood economy is good. And then, of course, we're going to want to uh, build ships later, so that's also important. I see that sneaky little demo ship. Yeah, and having a trebuchet makes this a lot easier, so I'm just going to try to get to the Imperial Age. Initially. Oh, yeah, I don't need any of the... Uh, I don't need any of the upgrades because. <sighs> what, was I, what was I trying to say? I don't know. What was I trying to say? Are you gonna win? Curious is now. Yeah, so fishing fish is definitely a good. Idea. It's definitely worth quite a bit of resource and stuff like that. So, definitely, definitely advisable. More guys to wood, and I'm gonna start exploring for new possibilities regarding expansion. Uh, I didn't see any. Well, there's some stone there, actually. Hold me too bad. But. Uh, I think that was all the guys we need on wood for now. And focus the rest on gold, I guess. There's a little bit of gold down here. Not too much. A um, little chunker of a uh, cliff there. Keep exploring around. See what we can find. Seeing a little cute little fish spot there. Some berries. Oh, this ain't a bad spot for a mill. Got some berries, got boar, got some fish. You know, it's not, it's not too shabby. Um, not sure that there would be boar at this point, or at this area in the world, but, you know. I'm not going to question it too much. It's not that big a deal. I'm curious what's around here, though. Not that much. Oh, okay. God. You do need to do something. I don't know what, though. I mean, I guess you can... Harvest stone. Wouldn't be too bad, I guess. Let's see, the Blackguard Navy's already in the Imperial Age. It's not good. It's not a good look. So yeah, um, this is Extra Life, a charity donation stream for children's hospitals in the uh, all across the U.S. And Siege soldiers, please do not destroy our place of worship. 
Instead, summon the Cid to us that we may speak with him. And uh, our team, room 1305, you can click on the links below, is raising money for these children's hospitals. So, if you'd like to support us, click on the link directly below the video, and uh, your help would be pretty much greatly appreciated. Hmm, I'm curious. Curious what will happen if we bring Elsa to this mosque. Say, so we're going to try it. it. Stop, don't be so mean to the mosque, yo, bro. Oh, it's got a little, really low health, so yeah, you could accidentally kill it pretty easily. Oh, it's not good. It's not good. Uh, but we can almost advance to the Imperial Age. Just a little bit more food. This one, the villager, will do it. There we go. Imperial Age research commence! And Elsa's gonna come down here to the mosque. You are most tolerant, my seed. Take our mosque under your protection by sending a holy man to convert it. And though I should not, I will help you to defeat Yusuf and his black guard. All right, so we need a monk. And we need to up upgrade the uh, ability to convert buildings. Then we can take out that mosque and get some extra assistance. I'm not really sure what that is, per se, so it's worth trying out. What's the worst I could have? I guess dying, but. Yeah. Elsa goes back in the castle because we don't want him to die accidentally. Because I will get him killed accidentally if I'm not careful. Um. Just the ones that uh, convert buildings. There we go. We need more gold. Come on, gold people. There we go. Good redemption. Let me start building some farms. After we finish heavy plow. No point in wasting the food. Or wasting the wood. Might as well get as much out of it as possible. Is this a new one? Yeah. And got just enough gold to get a monk. So we'll go ahead and do that. Go ahead and do that. Which age did he start on? Castle. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm just that good, Dan. Oh yeah, we do need husbandry though for our uh, our dudes. If we're actually get serious about it. Zahir. But yeah, I think I think a. Uh, Town center here wouldn't be too bad. Scoop up that gold pretty quick. And maybe a mill over there. Plus we got plenty of wood. That'd be a good place for the wood. So, I think that'll work. Pretty nice. I so said I'm not sure why I researched chemistry. Oh, I guess, I guess for the trebuchets. But. So yeah, let's go convert this mosque. Oh, there's lots of stone here too, dang. Third town or center site, probably. But we don't have a good gold reserve, unfortunately. Let's see if we can take this down. It's the navy, so the na as far as I remember, the navy doesn't actually get troops. Maybe I'm wrong. But I'm pretty sure it's the army that uh, you know upgrades and stuff. Could be wrong. Like I said, so no big deal though. Our oh, thanks, my seed. I feel free to help you because I have foreseen your victory. I seek only to bring the bloodshed to a swift close. The transports are the key. Destroy the Black Guard Navy's transports, and you will effectively cripple the arrival of reinforcements. No! Really? Is that, is that all? Also, El Cid, if you should wish to leave a holy man here at the mosque, we will teach him all that we know. Oh, free tech. All right, I'm game. 
And we're about to run out of gold there, which means we'll pop up another town center over there. I have learned of Sanctity. Now I shall learn of Fervor. I shall now learn of Fervor. I keep thinking that that's going to go to the bathroom. Oh, shit. <laughs> kind of looks like it. Yeah, for some reason, the the Ethernet ports are enabled in here, but not in the room across the hall. So, kind of weird. Oh. Oh. A couple more villagers, and then we should be okay. Start getting some upgrades. Of which we are too poor to afford, but, uh, you know, that's okay. And Yusuf has advanced to the Imperial Age. That's not good. It's not good, yo. Not good. Uh, I am not super good at this, this late in campaigns. I tend to suck it up a little bit, but, you know, it'll be okay. Build town center down here. Have our army guard it. And it should be good to go. Oh, we really don't need a trucci now. There we go. Oh, did they get the pizza? Oh, sure. I think after this scenario, I'm gonna take a break. A longer break. I have learned the ways of fervor, but now they teach me of herbal medicine. I need two for sanity. <laughs> and to stretch out my body. Yep. Oh, is that what's gonna happen? Wait, why is this guy? How'd you get part of two? Why are you part of two? Guys, why is he part of two? <laughs> Stupid long swordsman. Being all antisocial and hanging with the monks. Oh, that's not a bad thing or anything, but you know. So I don't understand. Let's get a forward castle going. Uh, that'll also protect the stone a little bit. Of which we can start harvesting. So we can build more forward castles. And the cycle continues. And again, they gave us free... Free murder holes. It's weird. That's not... That, that's, that's not one of the tech things, right? I'm not just... Yeah, I'm not just crazy. I'm not just crazy. They gave us three free murder holes, like three things in a row. Idle. Okay, now it's time to get our wood collectors transferred. You could probably take a couple of these and uh, Building farms. And get our economy up and rolling again. Not again. I mean, it was already up. Oh, we're, it was always up and rolling. But uh, I think now is a good time to go search out some more stew. Oh, 
use our uh, range units for that. The poultices and remedies of herbal medicine, and now I'm studying the ways of atonement. Oh, you bum snatcher! Why you gotta do this? He's gotta nuke my guy. I don't believe it. I don't believe it, man. You just come in here and kill my monk like that? Disrespect. I do to deserve disrespect. No other villagers, that's good. There we go. Clear up those camels. Go garrison in here. And a gold's about to run out, so hopefully we can find some more. Otherwise, we might be in a sticky situation. Because we're kind of low on the gold to begin with. I haven't seen any relics either. <sighs> and I don't want to fight this without gold. That would be bad. So scouting is important. Just like in any Age of Empires match. Regardless of whether it's online or not. Yeah, because we're almost done with that. And we'll probably transfer these guys over to stone. Temporarily. And, uh... Because that's the major stone pit, so maybe there's a major gold pit around here as well. If that's the case, we can get, uh... Hopefully we can get... A town center on that. And keep it safe. A town center and a castle would be awesome. Uh, there's more stone over here, but, uh, again, I need gold, not stone. Running low on the gold. I need to find the gold, yo. Where's the gold? Hmm. This is a good question. There might be something hidden up here. It seems like a pretty interesting area of the map to wall off, so we'll go check that. Oh, I wasn't pretty much exploring. Oh, here's some um, some villagers. Let's do a little bit of raiding. There's no military in the immediate area, so. Oh, what's this? Here's some gold. Alright. That's kind of in a bad spot. Like, we're gonna actually need to conquer that. If we want to have gold. Now it looks like that's where the walls are. Alright, let's get out of here. Get out of here. Run. We lost a few pieces of door, but got it out of there safely. So I count that as a victory. Oh, they do have villagers on this side. Hmm, okay. I hope that's not the only source of gold, because we're going to be in a heap of trouble if that is the case. And by a heap of trouble, I mean a gold heap of trouble. Uh, basically, we're gonna just we're just gonna have to buy a bunch of. Uh, I don't even know what we're gonna have to do for that. It's gonna be radical though, yo. Oh, what's this? There's a mine here. Looks like it was cleared out though. That's unfortunate. It might have been gold. Probably was gold. Dang. Dang. What? What's up? I was saying, I was saying, dang it. Dang it, Dan. Gotta find some gold. <laughs> Doing the moonwalk. Do you see that? Man, I'm not seeing too much gold around here. Other than that one spot, but that, uh... It's gonna take a lot of gold to get that gold, you know. So, I don't know. <laughs> you know, I don't know. Well, okay. Let's go back. Yeah, 
Yeah. yeah. But I don't remember where stuff is on this one. It's been very long. And usually, as a kid, I got bored and used to just, you know, instant win it. <laughs> so, I didn't really learn much about the map. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> so it's kind of a fresh experience. How are you harvesting deer in a pond? <laughs> what is this? Mystery Science Theater? Even though that doesn't really have anything to do with science? Per se? Let's go murder. Hey, stop getting that deer in the water. You're breaking laws. Breaking laws. Breaking laws. Breaking laws. Breaking laws. Breaking laws. It's not that hard, just stab the villager. There you go. Almost. T it took him way too long. Oh, there I am again, running over women, aren't I? Murdering women again! Oh well. It happens in these games. Oh, Camel came up and died to the... That's always nice. Yep, so we're gonna have to organize a... raiding party. Four stars out of four. Eh, eh, eh. Eh. Meh, eh. That's gonna be a pretty small rating party. This is gonna be. I, this is gonna fail horribly. All the get four patches of gold. <laughs> I mean, this is all that's, that's all that I see on the map. So. I don't know. All the rest is walled off, I think. I didn't really explore this too well, though. Uh, well, they have plenty of villagers, so... It's not gonna be cheap. No, I have it. 20,000. <laughs> 20,000 gold. Oh, the irony circles of life. Maybe there's some over here. Ah! Ah! Run! Run, Forrest, run! Run! You did. Yep. So I got four times healing. Whilst Garrison. Oh no! Oh yeah. What about what? Apparently Andrew and John are coming back in. <laughs> or they got involved in something. They're like, yeah, let's just play here. Oh. Does it say why? Oh. <gasps> oh. 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 Well, once we're done mining the stone, we'll go ahead and get some of that. In the meantime, we're gonna start taking cracks at the yellow here. Stop hitting the monastery, yo! Oh, it's a moss, my bad. Does it actually say moss? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like a moss. No, it's just like a monument. Just there for looks and quest objectives. I wish Pikes did more damage than Camels, but unfortunately, that's not how it works. Are you playing ARAM still? Or are you... Yeah, I'm over mid right now. 
Joke move. Alright, let's do some damage. As soon as you guys are done mining that stone, we are going to town on that gold down there. And then we're going to build a bunch of castles. We have so little army. It's ridiculous. It's legitimately ridiculous, mates. It's legitimately ridiculous. Legitimately. Check our uh, charity thing. Well, first thing is, well, you should you pick Morgana if you want to play. <laughs> All right, so let's start knocking down some of these walls. Make them come to us. Trebuchet is within the castle range, so we're going to be able to hit them while we're attacking them. That's always scary. Is literally all their training going to be camels? This is ridiculous. Like, sure, camels are okay. They'll kill my knights, but I'm not going to train any more knights. I'm going to be training mammoths. Yep. They're basically like, like pretty much like camels with the range attack. Alright, you guys are done with that. Let's go cause some mayhem. And cause it fast. How many times can I say the word fast? You say it fast. Oh, ran out of farms. My bad. Oh yeah, I don't have gold. <laughs> I was like, why don't I have gold? Oh, it's because I don't have gold. They're just letting me destroy some of their buildings. Okay. That's cool. I'll make my way into this little forward base. I'm going to start knocking this down. Actually, we don't need to get on boats at all. We could just knock down this transport ship. We should be golden. So, that's cool. Knock down the guard tower. You guys are over there. What are you doing? They just decided to. Hey, let's get this stuff in the back. That'll that'll be efficient, right? No. Look at how many resources we got of the others. Okay. I guess I could sell some of it at the market. Yeah, all the computer. Oh, dang! Food selling for a lot. Yes. Yes. Oh, baby. <laughs> While these units are going to be going to be created, I'm going to take a little pee. So I'll be right back. I said Compiador. I didn't realize there was that much more of a story to it. Yeah. You mean you don't like the, how it ends or you don't like the battle at the end? Um, it's kind of, well, I mean, it's kind of anticlimactic. But that's what it was in history, so. That's why I like the campaigns in this game, because they follow history pretty well. 
which is cool. I'm all about that history. I think I might play some medieval Total War later. Speaking of medieval stuff. Because that's fun. What's up, Ricky? What's up? Looks like a ceiling to me. Is it pretty much the same, like, Well, it's above my head, and it's... Everything above your head is a ceiling. That's yeah. the definition you're giving. Mm-hmm. This is a ceiling. That ceiling. is a ceiling. <laughs> That's a belt shape. The ceiling just attacked you. What are you gonna do? It's a ceiling for the... I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Seal my way my fear, I guess. I don't know. It's a ceiling for... How long you stand up without hitting the belt? What belt? Yeah, it's a ceiling. Oh, okay. Yeah, the ceiling. Yeah, it's a ceiling. We just established this. Oh, here come the camels. Then what's the answer? Oh, okay. It's reasonable. No? Okay. Well, at least they're not building any more villagers, I can tell that much. Because, uh, they must not have any town centers there. No, they must, because they advanced age. So I guess they're just not building villagers anymore. That's cool, I guess. Not gonna complain. I'll be the last one to complain about that. Uh, let's start getting some offensive castles. Oh, gosh dang it. Get off my trebs! Get off. Get off. Get off my lawn. Yo. Oh yeah, we gotta get these guys in here. ASAP. Why do you gotta have four stables like that? Like, that's not even fair. And a castle? Too bad I'm killing all you guys. Oh, man. And now I'm killing your stables. And remember, I don't have to kill all of them, I just have to kill the docks. That's my main objective for this. So. But I do want to finish off all these stables so that we can safely progress. Not sure what this uh, pike is doing. Not gonna complain though. Well upgraded pikemen. And uh, Mamluks are weak to pikemen. So keep that in mind. We do have one kind of but uh, it's only one. It's Juan and only Juan. Alright, offensive castle time. Build one right here. And the next troop drop off zone is going to be up here. Let's pump out some more Mamelukes. Keep rolling. Because we did lose quite a few. Especially because uh, I decided to do that. But there we go. Lots of lots of buildings down. Pretty much open the gut of this base here. It's gonna really open up us to advance. And uh, not sure what happened there. Oh, I guess those are my arm ammo extinct. <laughs> Fail. But uh, I'm gonna explore a little bit with our guys and get the trebs in here. See what we can take down. Looks like a pretty, pretty fancy little town. Uh, pikemen, I mean, yes, they do have attack bonus versus mamluks, but mamluks have the range, and they can just take them down, especially when they come like this, in an unordered formation. All right, here's uh, here's some guys that, here's some buildings that we need to take down. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's retreat from those. Now I want to get hit for free. And our farms are being depleted, so we should go attend to that. Dang it, will you just stop and let me reseed the farms? Jeez! Goodness! Oh, 
Alright, so we're gonna hold this pass here while our turbocades clear out these military production buildings. And that'll allow us to continue. It's usually how you wanna go. Hmm. Um, hold on. Apparently you can't get through there all at once. So let's amend that. Because, uh, even though pikemen, you know, we're cutting them down pretty easily, they will eventually wear down my army. And I don't want that, so we're going to trebuchet these barracks to smithereens. And I do have an economy over there, so I might want to take that out too. And here's some reinforcements. Mamelukian reinforcements. <coughs> pretty nice, pretty nice. And instead of attacking houses, let's attack the military production buildings. That'll be good. They're not really using their archery ranges, so we don't have to worry about that too much. And, uh, trebuchets. Oh my gosh! Three trebuchets, like, instant kill that guard tower. That's disgusting. Mm. Broke. Alright. So, uh, looks like they have their economy over here. Let's take that out next. Meanwhile, we can take our troops down here. Start working on their, uh, other such facets. Oh, they definitely cleared out a lot of these, uh... Oh, there's lots of guard towers down here. Alright. Well, let's, let's nuke their economy first. My problem with Trevor is that if you accidentally click on a building... Gosh dang it! <laughs> then they start deploying right away and you can't really do much about it. But, uh... I was gonna say, fortunately, that's not happening and then... Then what do you know? It happens. But yeah, after this uh, episode, after this uh, thing, yeah, we're going to take a little break. I'm going to have some dinner and stretch out, rest a little bit. And by rest, I mean, you know, not fall asleep or anything, but just chill. And then we'll be back. Um, you know, I'm not really sure what I want to do after dinner. I'll think about it. If you guys have any suggestions, uh, let me know. I'm thinking about maybe Medieval 2, some more Age of Empires. Uh, I might do LOL later in the night when there's less people on the internet because it was really slow when I was streaming it earlier if you were uh, the game I tried to stream not a good idea um, but yeah maybe later in the night maybe like one in the morning or so I don't know because <laughs> at 8 at eight in the morning it was pretty good I was running full FPS and you know I was only at 90 ping but so yeah if any any guys any of you guys have suggestions just leave it in the chat and I will uh Blige, thinking about Medieval 2, like I said, more Age of Empires. Uh, that Roman, if you're if you're around for the the Rome campaign that we gloriously lost, I was thinking about doing a little Galatian thing. Um, there's a little, there's a mod called the Extended Greek Mod, uh, which changes around some things. And there's a, uh, there's a little fun mini game kind of in there where you get to play as the Galatians, like right when they abandon uh, Macedonia and go over to Galatia, or what? No, what what, what? what became to be known as Galatia? I guess would be. Yeah, it's a pretty cool scenario. So, uh, oh, get wrecked! All right. I mean, eventually, if you kill enough villagers, we'll be able to research spies. But right now, not looking that way. Anyway. Uh, now that we've conquered their economy, we should come in and build a castle. And then we can start taking down these uh, docks down here. Oh, let's back out, back out, back out. Gotta back out. <clears throat> it's dangerous. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this! Oh, we got enemy camels inbound, but uh, there's only two of them, and we have quite a big army of Mamelukes, so I'm not even worried. I'm not even worried, yo. 
Speaking of mammal, let's build some more. All right, we knocked that down. So let's go down here and take out this dock. Because we might as well. There's no point in not. Not sure what that demo ship's doing. A little fishy. <laughs> Get it? Because there's fish down there? That was a bad joke. I'm sorry. No suggestions from the comments? Okay. Or from the stream. Alright. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> oh, they can get to the other dock from here, too. Cool. Look at that! Halfway through the Black Guard Navy's docks and halfway to stopping the advance of Yusuf's invasion. Nah. Alright, so basically we're gonna try to cut through this way. Nah, nah, and take them out. Take out these docks. Um, not really sure if we need this castle here, but it doesn't hurt. Start building more. And dang, Mamluks take out towers pretty easily as well. That guard towers might just be weak, I don't know. We can actually take these down with our Mamluks. Pretty wide open area. We killed most of the military. Oh, dang. Oh, they have a whole nother town center area over here. I'm gonna have to take that out. Oh! Demo ships. Hi. You think you're clever? Being all suicidal and stuff? Well, I don't think you're clever. I think you're gross. I don't know what that has to do with gross, but, you know, sounds good. <laughs> yeah, you know, sounds good. That's the reason to do anything, right? I'm just kidding. But, uh... Let me already take a crack at the old... Well, let's... Let's stop. Let's move over a little farther. Let's go right here so we can hit everything. Gosh dang it, this tower's gonna be shooting at us the whole time. All our guys are really injured. But we still have all of them, mostly. Nope. There goes one. Another one bites the dust. And another one goes, and another one goes, and another one bites the dust. Hey. I'm gonna get you too. Another one bites the dust. Hey. My name is Scrooge. Another one bites the dust. And an Oh, Trebuchet hit a guy. Oh, love it. It's one of my favorite things. Alright, let's reduce the cost of those spies, man. AKA killing all the villagers. Uh, get wrecked, yo. Alright, good job. Blackguard Navy is feeling it. Do you feel it, Mr. Krabs? Uh, so apparently it's a whole different uh, fortress over here that we have to take out. Use of Sir Fortress himself. So. I guess for the time being, we can leave these guys alone. Um, I do want to buy a bit more stone, though. And we're going to launch an attack on this fortress. With all the forces we have. Build two castles up there. And go to town. These guys are going to be two. Group two. And they're going to stay safe while group one... Well... Take down some of these guard towers. Cause they're gonna be kind of nice. <laughs> Three health left. Really, 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 Mr. Guard Tower. Really, Mr. Guard Tower. Is that really necessary? I don't think so. You winning, Dan? No, you're losing. Oh dang. Uh, binding. Uh, double kill. And triple kill. <laughs> nice. Oh, 
How long are you planning on staying? I don't know. Why are you picking me out? No. You're, you're cool. Depends on how tired I get. Nam. 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 Gosh dang it. Wow. Minions ended up here. Nam. Nam. That does happen. Oh, we're having a villager fight. Villager fight. Uh, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Me. I started at higher health. Get wrecked. I'm just trying to get this castle up. In enemy territory. Why do they have to be so mean? Oh, gosh. Going through this area is probably a bad idea. I'm just going to try to break through this wall and go that way. Oh shoot, knight, 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 oh, I killed two trebs already. Gosh dang it. Gosh. Yeah, I'm just gonna break through this wall and go that way. That'll be a lot easier. <sighs> Wasn't good to shoot at that, which is pretty cool. Plus, we get to build more castles and more troops. More fun. First bird. So yeah, I do I do like the Elsid campaign, it is quite fun. In my opinion. It's gonna be really slow with Gosh dang it. I wish you could rotate the camera almost. You know? Because I you can't like select the wall correctly. There we go. This guy's gonna try to blow up as soon as you get past. But nope. <laughs> I throw I throw my scimitars at the ships and blow them up. You know, logic. Uh <laughs> awesome. Right, we're gonna try breaking through that dish way. Oh, look at all these villagers! Ooh, I like. Oh, oh, oh! I still have a knight around. Dang! I'm surprised he survived all the camels. And they have a transport ship for some reason. Taking downtown center with a castle. I'll probably make that a little faster. Oh, uh, I'm linking the forces again, that's why. I didn't even know. Hey, hey, trebuchet. Defend it. So, I'm gonna pack all the trebuchets, try to move in here. Let's explore and see what's going on. I gotta take down that dog. I think I can reach from this shore. I would guess. I'm not sure. Get wrecked, villagers. Get wrecked. Alright, we're gonna stand under this town center and kill it. You ready? Huh. 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 By Yusuf. <laughs> I'm getting attacked by Yusuf. That's not even proper grammar. I know. It's so amazing. It's villager slaughter. Villager slaughter. Villager slaughter. Beautiful. Beautiful in a you're dead kind of way. All right, and we should be able to finish it off here. 
Why are you building a mining camp right here? That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> that doesn't make sense at all. Like, why are you... Yeah, yeah, and this has this all got gutted and put a castle in there. <laughs> One more dock. Kill all the ducks. Uh, he was a Moorish leader that tried to take all of Spain, but I'll sit kind of pooping a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean like he didn't even get that far into the mainland at all. Without their transports, Yusuf will have to call off his invasion. Yep. Ow, I go boom. Alfonso needed only have mentioned that Spain was in jeopardy and the Cid would have come. And when the Cid did finally come to his king's aid, the Berbers were crushed and their leader Yusuf was forced to flee back to Africa. The Cid bowed to Alfonso. Ah, to his rightful place this guy. as the champion. But King Alfonso was angered that the Cid had not arrived sooner. And ordered oh, come him to on. return to his exile. It's a little harsh. Time, you saved our country, exile. Many long years jelly. did I rot in the dungeons of Castile. Oh. Well, I'm going to take a break now and have some dinner, like I said. So I'll be your back.